Uh, shall I introduce my first guest, ladies and gentlemen? Yes. Before I do, let's remind ourselves of the man in action. This is Lee Evans, live at Wembley. I mean, I've always been superstitious. I would never walk on the gaps in the pavement when I was a kid. It took me two weeks to get off the end of our drive because we had crazy paving. I was like... <laughs> Nightmare. But, uh, so I never let a black cat cross your path. I feel sorry for people that own black cats. Here he comes, here he comes! <laughs> break a leg. You're not break a leg. That's like saying, mind your head. People only say, mind your head, after you've bashed it. You go, oh. They go, oh, mind your head. <laughs> no, mind yours, you... Ladies and gentlemen, here he is, Mr. Lee Evans. Boom, shake, shake, shake the room. Boom, shake, shake, shake the room. Boom, shake, shake, shake the room. Tick, 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 boom. <laughs> Mr. Lee Evans. Which way? Which way do I go? Yeah. Look at round this way. Yeah, that's all right fine. then. That's lo that's lovely. Thanks. Come on over here now, <laughs> Lee. Come on, shift up. Oh, sorry. You don't sorry. mind me saying you look like a monkey, do you? Hey, uh, no, no. I mean, I don't mind. <laughs> <laughs> Couch is slippery, though, isn't it? Look at that. It's like a jellyfish. <laughs> you don't want to do that on the beach, boys. We'll run up and throw stones at you. <laughs> I can do it. I can do it like this. Go on, Jonathan, you're all right. This is like a, some, sort of, <laughs> some, some sort of demonstration on Richard and Judy, isn't it? The <laughs> bloke's going to come on and check your nuts for cancer. In the <laughs> <laughs> you don't oh. do that. It's still, where, Ooh, what's your what's follow? Good hello, look. hello. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. He said it. I never said a thing. Hey, Lee, see if yeah. you get me a minicab for afterwards. They say check your nuts for cancer, don't they? Well, they do. Apparently, men are meant to say. I use it as an excuse. <laughs> <laughs> Well, talking of nuts. What's that going on? Here we have the sperm, <laughs> and here the female sperm. <laughs> and when they join, we take the gino, which is the hair gino, and we put them together like so, and then we get this demonstration okay. right here. <laughs> Leonardo, what are you doing now? <laughs> you must be away. a nightmare to live with. <sighs> are you like this at home? Yeah. Do you calm down ever? No, I don't. What's, where does this energy come from? <sighs> well, you're sitting too close. Now it feels it's broken down the normal relationship, host and guest relationship. Oh, I'm sorry. Sorry. Um, uh, all right, let's talk about this. Here's what I'm excited about for Lee. Okay? While I was in the States in the summer holiday, a new movie opened starring Lee Evans and personal hero of mine, Jackie Chan. Jackie Chan. Jackie Chan and Lee Evans. How exciting is that in a movie together? Uh, the film is called The Medallion. Yeah, Jackie okay. Chan. He's nuts. Yeah. Couldn't fight his way out of a paper bag. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I, no, I'm telling you, he wouldn't last five minutes around here, way. Uh, I'll tell you what happened to me in uh, Hong Kong, if you like. Now, is that where you filmed the movie, Hong Kong? Yeah. OK. Uh, yeah, no, cos we went out there and they give me an apartment. Yeah. That had, uh, huge cockroaches. No, no, serious. I'm serious. You know, like, here... So, well, this was like a feature, like an extra living space and the cockroaches? I don't know if I was putting him up or what. I think he didn't pay me any rent. <laughs> How but big were they? Huge. You know, like, here... You know, like, here, you step on an insect. Yeah. Like, you go like that, and it's dead. Yeah, right? Yeah. But over there, you, you step on it, and, they, and you go... <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they're, like, massive. I opened my kitchen door. I swear to you, this is actually a true story. You can ask my wife, cos you know, Eva. Yeah. And, uh, and, I, and I, we, I opened the kitchen door and I tell you, there was this the biggest cockroach you've ever seen sat in the corner with the contents of the fridge, like that, just sat there. Like... <laughs> <laughs> I snuck in and I picked up a ladle, right. you know. And, um, and this you was know what, what? To kill it with or to give it more to, soup? To give it one. Okay. Because my wife's frightened, you know. So I, I got this ladle and it's sitting there and it woke up like that. Yeah. And you know, like our insects, they kind of go, oh, and they run. Yeah. This one come at me. <laughs> <laughs> and it's this big. And it went, and it didn't just ordinary come at you like an insect, like that, uh, like this. It went, it went. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? It strikes me, though, is that it, would I be right in thinking that although. You know, the stand-up is, is a great thing that you do, and you love yeah. doing it, I imagine. But I know that you've been moving towards kind of darker, more challenging sort of roles. I know the new movie that you've just finished, which is not out for quite some time, but I specifically asked for an early clip, because I wanted to talk about this. It's called Freeze Frame. This mm. looks very different. This looks like a real departure for you. It is, actually. I, I like, again, I just wanted to... Because I like the story, I wanted to take a risk. OK, what is the story? Before we see a clip, tell us what the story is. It's about a young man who's been... Um, 
uh, convicted of a crime he didn't do. So what he does is he goes about filming himself for 24 hours a day, every single day of his life, to have evidence that he has done nothing wrong because the cops are trying to pin this thing on him. So he's been, so basically he's paranoid, he's... Yeah, what happens is two of his tapes go missing, and on that day, a murder was committed. So he tries to replicate the two tapes, and then the police bring the other tapes up and go, but these are the originals, and these are the ones you made up, so yeah. which one's true? Now he hasn't got a case. It's, it's a real departure for you. Here's a, a kind of yeah. sneak preview Ooh. way in advance when it comes out, because I, I really am keen as muster to see this yeah. film. This is Lee Evans in freeze frame, which is not for some time, but store it up in your memory. <laughs> that, you know... <laughs> I mean, we all know that the job of a trailer is to make you want to see a movie, but that really makes you want to see that movie. Uh, and it's, it was all filmed in, in Belfast, wasn't it? Yeah, at the Cromlin Road prison. Every day we just filmed there, and we went from the hotel uh, to the Cromlin Road prison. Every day, every single day. That must have been kind of depressing, I would have thought, wasn't it? <laughs> it was just like being in prison. Okay. Yeah, it was like... No, I mean, it was. I mean, it was just like boom, boom, boom. And, and, then, and then, you know, they had these huge, big blue gates, and there'd be people outside, and they want to tell you stories about the prison and stuff. Yeah. I mean, it was a fascinating couple of months, you know. Yeah. It really was. How did you get on with uh, being bald, of having no hair? I mean, that must have been... Were, were you shocked <laughs> the first time you saw yourself? Because My daughter now, was shocked. I'm unsettled. Yeah, I, I was unsettled. I d basically, I, they, I said, why don't we film it? You know, and they filmed me shaving my head and stuff, yeah. and they, they sort of... We, got, we, we captured it in a... Because it was a low-budget film, so we captured it in, like, a, in, a, in a toilet. What did your wife make of you like that? Did she, did she welcome the, the, the hair-free Leos? <laughs> Um, well, I had to wear a hat because of, um, because of my daughter, that's all. Did I mean, it, did it scare her? Me anyway. mm? How old is she? Uh, she's nine. She's nine now? Wow. Yeah, yeah. Be... And did, was she, what did she think of Daddy with no hair? She, well, I wore a hat. Yeah. Uh, I wore a hat. I got off the uh, plane, I got into the car, and I was sort of had this hat down to here. So what, did you never take it off? N well, she's pulled it off. Right. So what did she think when she's she saw it off? She's in the back of the car and she just went... What? what? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's just not Daddy, is yeah. it? It's not like, you know... And how did you explain this? I just said uh, I, I had a nervous breakdown. <laughs> <laughs> had, Daddy, yes, had, Daddy had to go away for a while. Uh, <laughs> and it's because of your schooling. <laughs> put all the pressure because on. Because you've let us all down. <laughs> yeah, because you've let us down. And if you keep letting us down, I'm going to lose my ears as well. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Here's another thing. Am I right in thinking you're about to go uh, into the West End sometime in the near future in a production, a musical production? Uh, yeah, yeah, they want me to, yeah. What's this? Can you, I know you can't talk much about it, but this is exciting. Uh, if, if what I've heard is correct, this is the show which has been a huge hit on Broadway, uh, based on the classic Mel Brooks comedy, The Producers. Uh, it's been selling out uh, a couple of years now. It's been on Broadway. Yeah. They're bringing it here to London, yeah. and they've asked you to, to be in. Is that right? Yeah, and I met my hero. I met Mel Brooks when I went to New York a little while ago. He was just absolutely the best bloke in the world. He was everything that I thought he would be. He was funny and he was generous and he was love. You know, and he's such a nice bloke. Yeah. It was just brilliant just meeting him. I would have gone just for that. Do you know what I mean? Mel Brooks. It's brilliant. nice when you meet your heroes and they don't disappoint Yeah, because like, he, he, being a hero, you know, I mean, lo loads of people in our business know Mel Brooks. Everybody, you know, he worked with Woody Allen and Sid Caesar back in the old yeah, days. Yeah. Into, oh, it's, mate, he's got such a great history. And, and, and so you're going to do this part? You, you've agreed to do this? Um, they want us to. I'd, I suppose I'd better get in tune or something. Well, but I'd, ra I'd like to do it because it would be uh, just a, a slight departure. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? The, the, what I don't want to do is be sort of pigeonholed, so I try to do different things, and I don't care if it fails, just to, just to keep doing... Well, you know, I, I, I'm pretty sure it won't. I'm well, you know, right. Mel Brooks, you know. Yeah. So he's well, a I, I, yeah, and Lee Evans is no slouch either. <sighs> um, now, Lee's on tonight after the show. Last week we had Jack D on the show. Yes, uh, Jack. One of the reasons we invited Jack on, he yeah. was on his show was on After Us, uh, live on the BBC. Tonight yeah. there's the Lee Evans concert that we showed a clip from earlier. That's on after the show tonight. Right. Next week, we're being followed by a show which takes a light-hearted look at syphilis. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I just, won't I... tell you now which guest has it, but I'll wink at the camera <laughs> when he's on. <laughs> uh, Lee, it's uh, been an absolute joy spending some time with you this evening. Thank uh, you so Jonathan, much for coming thank on. you very much for having me. You're such a nice guy. Ladies and gentlemen, oh. you're such a nice bloke. Yeah. Now you can do your bit, if you like. Yeah. You know, well, you're, you're horrible. <laughs> I've never liked you. I don't think you're funny. You can't act. You're, you're physically repulsive. Um, ladies and gentlemen, what a, what a lovely guest. Mr Lee Evans. Lee, thank you. Thank you. Great to see you again. Thank you. Help me move this couch back. We've really got, we got to get it back here. Look. There. That's it. Thank you very much, Lee. OK. Got to get it back. Lee Evans. Stay tuned when the show ends. Catch uh, Lee Evans on. That's a great gig. Did you see? Did you, I don't suppose you saw him live. It was fantastic. Huge. 10,000.